Hi, everyone. Uh, firstly, as I was saying, thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy day for attending the first of our webinar Wednesdays. Um, so this will be the first one that we're kicking off for this year. My name is Keith Lynham. Um, I'm one of the customer success managers here at Seats. So hopefully I'll be working with a few of you in the future. The first thing that we're going to cover today is um, it's all about personal tutor dashboards. So then over the coming weeks, we'll be bringing you various pieces of content, different walkthroughs across the Seats application, along with some additional areas of the business and how it may come to benefit you and your staff in their roles. And um, we do have a Q&A section towards the end of it. So just for the sake of time, and um, what I suggest is just for any questions, feel free, pop them into the Q&A chat and we can answer them towards the end of it. But for now, I'm just going to pass it on to my lovely colleague here, Mr. Neil Truman, and he's just going to walk you through what we'll be covering today. So across to you, Neil. Thank you very much, uh, Keith. Uh, very good afternoon, uh, everybody. Thank you for joining. Uh, Neil Truman uh, on the line. Uh, I head up uh, all things knowledge transfer at uh, Seat Software and uh, produced a little video um, uh, covering um, personal tutor uh, dashboard. We're starting uh, this uh, short series of webinars with the important things first, I think. Um, so um, we'll be looking at um, essentially um, the Seats application in the student's uh, personal tutor uh, dashboard context. Uh, and having a look at the tools that we can provide to support personal tutors or academic mentors, um, staff that are there to support students. Um, so looking at what we can do to support that role um, within the SEATS application. And uh, as Keith has mentioned, uh, we will have a, a bit of a Q&A session at the very end. The video itself is really just designed to whet your appetites really kind of high level covering uh, some of the kind of main points. And of course, we can go into a little bit more detail. Um, there will be elements as well um, that I've mentioned in the video um, that will be covered um, on later sessions. So really kind of short and sweet on point, hopefully for yourselves. Um, and then um, we can do questions uh, afterwards. And of course, myself, Keith, uh, Owen, who's on the line, we're always around uh, to take questions at any time. So uh, you will uh, be able to uh, drop us a line uh, if there is uh, more kind of in-depth uh, questioning that you want or uh, demonstration or whatever. So yes, um, over to, I think uh, Owen is controlling the um, the video uh, part. Um, Owen, I don't know whether you want to say hi as well um, as part of this, um, but uh, hand it over to you. Guys, made my input. <laughs> <laughs> Hello there, very warm welcome. How the seats can we help you as a personal tutor and support your role? Well, there's a few things that uh, we can certainly do uh, to help you in your role uh, using the seats application, and certainly in your role supporting students. In the very first instance, we can quickly display a list of your students with background information and progression within the application itself. Then we want to help you prioritize your work. So in this list, we have a list of students with the relative engagement, the performance and attendance metrics relative to the peers. This makes it real clear who's potentially struggling and with a little bit of investigation by drilling down into the student profile will allow a tutor to usually see what areas an individual student is struggling with and facilitate targeted interventions to support. I'm going to just give a bit of an explainer as to what you're seeing here. The whole building block really of the application is to allow the user to tailor and have information displayed within the application pertinent to them or the role within the institution. So of course I've set up a view that's perhaps pertinent to myself and I can have many views. So 
if I'm a tutor, a mentor, a senior tutor, I, or responsible for a specific cohort of students. I can tailor the information within here and have it open up or have the op application open up every time I log in with that information. So we have provided the option to actually move uh, things around within the dashboard. So within here, I can pick and choose from my list, which is all um, neatly packaged. So all the engagement items are within one area, attendance items, metrics are within one area and so forth. And over on the right hand side, we can reorder so we can move the column items around so that if you want, instead of seeing the student image first, you can have their full name first or their student number first. It's entirely up to yourself. It's all very, very flexible. Also, within the filters themselves, you can actually come to the settings option. Within the settings option, looks very, very similar, laid out very similar as well. You can remove items that perhaps you don't want to uh, have as a filter. You can remove header items as well. So for example, if you're not using or you don't want to see a specific campus within the header here, you can simply remove it, click on save, and the campus has now been removed. I can take items from my filter and promote them to a header. So for example, if I wanted to promote uh, the ability to um, adjust engagement metrics, then I can do that. It's all very straightforward, very simple to do so within the application. So we've talked just a little bit about the data, how it's presented and how you can adjust that. And of course, this is all with a view to helping you identify students that need your help. So of course, with engagement here, you can see the score. And uh, again, the score is relative to the student's peers. And uh, some of the touch points that go towards the making up of that engagement score. We have the change metric as well. And again, we're going to have a, a deep delve into uh, the engagement element uh, in a further uh, video, uh, further down the line. Looking at students, and perhaps if the student is struggling and their engagement is very poor, um, you may want to reach out to that student, perhaps arrange a meeting. You can do that from the dashboard. You can also do that or carry that role out within the student profile. But from the dashboard, you simply select the student click on the contact, you could send them an email or you can send them an invite um, to a remote meeting, for example, and that's set up within the application itself. Very straightforward. And this will go out uh, to the student's institution email address or their own personal email address if that is being brought into the system itself. But just to show you how easy it is uh, to, to arrange certainly an online meeting uh, with the student. A couple of clicks uh, of the button uh, here. If you want to uh, arrange a formal meeting so the student uh, comes and meets with you, then you can certainly arrange a mentor meeting, for example. So again, it's just an example of what is available. I've got uh, an example set up here where I can set up an academic mentor meeting with a start date, a time, end date, and time as well. And it can carbon copy in another member of the team and also upload supporting information. I mentioned earlier just um, about um, being able to drill down and look at, at information or further information relating to the student if they are uh, struggling. And uh, that is uh, carried out by navigating into their a profile. Uh, within the profile, we have the engagement data section. Within here, you can see that, uh, yes, um, this student is uh, a very poor attendance and very uh, 
uh, low uh, attendance uh, as well. I can look at modular attendance uh, for this student and you can see um, that uh, their attendance across uh, the modules since the start of the academic year has been very poor. If the student was scoring perhaps in the middle of the road uh, compared to the peers or slightly higher, um, then what we can do is start to uh, look at perhaps uh, some uh, other areas, touch points. If I was to select some of these, it may actually indicate, uh, yeah, as the uh, case is with this student, that perhaps they are scoring um, you know, not too bad uh, in certain uh, areas. Uh, however, this uh, point here, the lecture attendance, you can see uh, has fluctuated um, or student was attending uh, and has kind of dropped off. So this really is a, a, to give you an indication um, or a starting point or a discussion point with the student um, on the specific areas. Of course, if the uh, student is um, perhaps struggling uh, with their studies, um, there may well come a point where you perhaps want to um, open a case uh, for the student. And again, case management will be covered in another video. But I can, as a tutor, open a case from this uh, area or the home screen. You can certainly um, add um, an academic mentoring uh, case. I can assign it um, to a tutor, myself, with a comment to save and that's the case created. And of course I can view the case or all cases within the student profile or within the dedicated area here and you can see here here's the case I've just created. I can select options, I can reassign. Um, if I was to add a phone call um, or make a phone call and I wanted to make a note about that call then I can add that uh, within here. We do have separate note-taking capability within the application, and that is found just uh, over uh, here. Add note, and uh, add note does have rich text uh, functionality as well. So um, you have the ability to create bulleted lists, add in links, uh, images uh, as well uh, within the application or within this function itself. That uh, concludes this very uh, brief uh, summary, overview of personal tutor functionality within the CS application. I hope this has been of benefit to you. There will be an opportunity for you to ask questions, and uh, I hope to see you again um, at another session uh, in the very near future. Take care, and thank you for watching. So hopefully after that, um you'll have like a brief glimpse as to how the personal tutor dashboard, like you can benefit your students and um, obviously by increasing their engagement and their well-being, but also how it's able to actually give back some much needed time and um, to your own actual tutors as well. Um, so at this point, I suppose if we do have any questions um, through the chat function here, if anyone wants to input anything or Neil, if there's anything that you feel like you might want to elaborate on at all, it wouldn't be seats if we weren't actually um, developing um, and um, you know, further enhancing the functionality within the uh, system. So um, we are uh, looking um, in relation certainly to uh, personal tutors, uh, providing uh, the ability to bring in uh, long form text uh, via uh, our custom field functionality. So custom fields, I didn't really um, elaborate uh, on these um, during the demonstration with the custom fields allows an organization to bring in, for example, um, personal statements, being able to um, add in supporting documents. Um, so although we are focusing perhaps uh, somewhat on engagement um, and attendance metrics uh, within the application itself, um, there are, of course, um, perhaps historic information um, looking at um, you know, module attempts. And uh, one of the big things um, that, uh, um, that we are working on at the moment um, in line with uh, personal tutors 
um, is uh, looking at uh, mitigating circumstances, um, which uh, will be uh, in this quarter um, some point. Um, so being able to offer um, an entire package uh, for uh, mentors, personal tutors, um, with all the su additional supporting documentation that you would require um, out with the standard you know, attendance metrics, engagement metrics, and so forth, will all be uh, within the application itself. Of course, uh, we already have um, the ability to push um, specific data out of the application to Dynamics as such. Um, and we have lots of other integrations, other tools available um, within the application um, when it comes to actually pulling um, uh, information regarding students. So for example, using Teams, we have a Teams app that allows an advisor um, or an academic or a tutor um, to use Teams to bring back information from the SEATS application uh, very quickly. Everybody's lives is really busy at the moment and having um, perhaps information in two, three, four, five different systems all in one area is really the key um, for you know, success, um, as we would say. So um, we're happy uh, as such to um, you know, have individual calls with yourselves uh, to explore some of these other options that I've just mentioned um, within the application or if uh, engagement um, and the system generating a, an engagement score for a student is something of interest to yourselves, then we can certainly, or we're certainly happy to arrange certain, you know, separate demonstrations uh, for, you, for yourselves. But as I say, the point of this was really just to kind of focus in on the kind of role itself um, of tutor um, and what we can do to support that role uh, being the main uh, focus. So there'll be plenty there to keep everyone occupied coming into the future. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> so it's an exciting place to, to watch anyway. And as we said at the start then, this is only the first of our Wednesday webinars. So um, we're looking to be running them every fortnight from now on. And um, so to be different content being created each week for that. So. Um, all of our contact information is here down, down on this last slide. But um, as ever, feel free to reach out to any one of us um, should anything pop up after the, the webinar itself. If you want to elaborate on anything, set up a call, anything at all like that. But um, as we said, thank you so much for taking the time out today and coming along to have a chat with us. We really do appreciate it.